Hello students, in this lecture we will discuss the numericals that have been asked in previous year papers on Planck's law, Wayne's law and Stephen's law. So quickly let us revise all the formulas we had done and then begin with the numericals. See, average energy of Planck's oscillator E bar is equal to H mu upon E to the power of H mu by KT minus 1. Wayne's displacement law, lambda M into T is a constant. Stephen's law, E equal to sigma T to the power of 4. Surface area of a spherical body 4 pi r square 1 calorie equal to 4.2 into 10 to the power of 7 ergs 1 calorie equal to 4.2 joule angular diameter is equal to diameter of sun divided by diameter of sun from earth temperature of sun is given by s d square upon r square sigma whole to the power of 1 by 4, where S is solar constant, D is mean distance of the earth from the sun, capital R is radius of sun, and sigma is Stephen's constant. Now, let us quickly see the numericals. We have tried to cover maximum number of numericals from previous year papers. Calculate average energy of Planck's oscillator of frequency temperature H K given. Now, we know that the formula for average energy of Planck's oscillator is E equal to H mu divided by E to the power of H mu divided by KT minus 1. Here, we have been given the frequency as 1.5 into 10 to the power of 14. Planck's constant 6.624 into 10 to the power of minus 34. Boltzmann constant K 1.38 into 10 to the power of minus 23. And we will put these values. In solving these values, you will be requiring a calculator and you can, you or if you don't have it, then remember that the value of E is 2.71. Make it to the power of approximately 3.99 uh, approximated to 4 and then you can simply solve this expression and you get the answer. Now these numericals are on Stephen's law. A body at 1500 Kelvin emits maximum energy of wavelength 2000 nano angstrom. Sun emits maximum energy of wavelength 550 nanometer. What would be the temperature of sun? See, temperature of body is 1500 Kelvin. Wavelength for maximum energy emission is 2000 C. 10 to the power of minus 9 we have done because it is given as nanometer. Wavelength for maximum energy emission of sun, 500 nanometer again. So we have tried to normalize the units so, so that we don't have any problem in correct value of answer. Then Wayne's displacement law, lambda m into t equal to a constant. We put these values and accordingly we get t. What is the wavelength at which human body radiates maximum energy. In this case, temperature of human body they have given approximately as 37 degree centigrade. Now, from Wayne's displacement law, lambda m into t is equal to a constant. The constant value is 2.898 into 10 to the power of minus 3 millikelvin. Now, temperature of human body, we will first convert it into Kelvin. So, 37 degree centigrade plus 273. Now, considering the human body as black body, the wavelength can easily be found. Lambda m is equal to this much divided divided by three, uh, 310 and we get the answer. If the filament of a 1000 watt bulb has an area of 0.25 centimeter square and behaves as a perfect black body, find the wavelength corresponding to the maximum in its energy distribution. Energy radiated by the filament per second is equal to 100 divided by area that is power upon area and this is centimeter square so we have changed it into meter square 100 centimeter is equal to one meter then we have put the values of Stephen constant and this which have been given to us 
वंस वी गेट टी फ्रॉम वी पुट द वैल्यू इन वेन्स डिस्प्लेसमेंट लॉ लैमडा एम इंटू टी इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट एंड वी गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा एम If sun emits maximum energy at wavelength four seven five three angstrom, calculate the temperature of its surface. Again, we will use Wain's law. Lambda m into t equal to a constant. Lambda has been given to us as four five four seven five three angstrom. One angstrom is ten to the power of minus ten meter. We put this value, change the units, and we get the answer. Next. question next question is what is the wavelength of maximum intensity radiation emitted from a source at a temperature 3000 degree centigrade temperature of the source this degree centigrade we will change to 273 and wain's constant is this much so from wain's displacement law lambda m into t is equal to a constant and accordingly we get the value a piece of copper sheet is blackened on both sides and placed normally to sun's rays just outside the earth's atmosphere after some time its temperature is found to have become constant calculate this temperature if solar energy incident on the sheet is given now see solar energy incident on the blackened copper sheet per second per square centimeter we will first change it into Erg's unit one calorie is four point two joule is equal to four point two into ten to the power of seven ergs. Seven constant has been given to us. The temperature of co copper sheet will become constant when the heat energy received by it is equal to the heat energy radiated by it per cent second. So let this temperature be k. T then heat energy radiated is equal to from Stephen's law. We put the value and we get the answer. Next question: A spherical body has a radius of point zero one meter. This is maintained at eight hundred and seventy three Kelvin. You have to find the rate at which energy is radiated from its surface. See, we have surface area of spherical body four pi r square. Energy radiated E equal to sigma t to the power of four. Simply, we have to put the values. Next question: Calculate the temperature at which a perfectly black body radiates. At the rate of one watt per centimeter square, E is equal to sigma t to the power of four, and we will change the unit of one watt per centimeter square is equal to ten to the power of seven ergs per cent second centimeter square, and then put the values, and we get the answer accordingly. Luminosity of rigid star in Orion constellation is seventeen thousand times that of our sun. If surface temperature is six thousand Kelvin, calculate the temperature of the star. Once again, we will be using simple Stephen's law: E equal to sigma equal to t to the power of four. It has been given to us as seventeen thousand times. So just we will multiply it. Now this question was asked many times. Under Stephen's heading, that what is solar constant, and how do you find the temperature of sun from the knowledge of solar constant and Stephen's law? See, solar constant is defined as the solar energy received. Per minute by one square centimeter of a perfectly black surface, which is held at right angles to the direction of sun's rays and placed at the mean distance of the Earth from the sun. Now. How are we going to use Stephen's law here? It is very simple. See, sun temperature of the sun you can take, and sun is a sphere or uh, circular in shape, so surface area becomes four pi r square. Stephen's constant, you know the value. Simply put both of them here, and you get total radiations emitted by the sun surface in one minute. you try to change it into calories it will be better for you then if d is mean distance of the earth from the sun then these radiations are going to spread over an area 4 pi r square radiations falling on unit area of the surface 
will be total energy divided by 4 pi r square. This is by definition is equal to solar constant S in calories. Earth receives 2 calorie per centimeter square per minute from sun. If angular diameter of the sun is 32 minutes and it is treated as black body, find the temperature of the sun. Angular diameter is equal to diameter of sun divided by diameter of sun from earth. And then 1 minute is 60 seconds. Pi radians is 180 degree. We put these values here. Solar constant is equal to energy received by the earth per centimeter square per minute. So we will change calories to ergs accordingly. Put this value in the formula temperature of sun and accordingly we get the answer. Sunlight arrives at the earth at a rate of 1.4 kilowatt per meter square. When the sun is exactly overhead, the average radius of the earth has been given, radius of sun has been given. You have to find the temperature of sun, assuming that it radiates like a black body. See, temperature of sun formula, we know T is equal to S D square upon R square sigma whole to the power of 1 by 4. We will put the values accordingly keeping in mind kilowatt has to be changed multiplying it by 10 to the power of 3 radius 7 into 10 to the power of 8 and d put the values here and you get the answer